when I look at the luminous textile, it immediately make me think about um, the, the possibilities actually in lighting, not surely as a functional piece, but it's actually it's an atmospheric uh, uh, application as well. Kind of similar to the luminous textile. Yep. Cool, thank you, Anderson. So um, what is your idea of applying this lighting solution from an architect perspective? I think I shared that a little bit already. I think besides lighting as a, a sheerly functional piece, everyone should know that um, in the 18th, 19th century, lighting is sheerly mostly for functional purposes. Its, it's existence is to provide um, lighting, right, for practical purposes. But I'm sure that these days, if you uh, have a piece of lighting, it goes beyond just the functional purposes. As in this case, it's a, it's a piece to provide atmospheric uh, ambience. I think that's, that's the uh, potential and the beauty of this product then. So how does lighting change the way we see spaces? And how does it influence design and the use of materials? I, I think it goes back to what I just said before. The lighting in these days is not just sheerly as a functional piece anymore. So the, the Susan Boyle chair that I just proposed as, as, a, as, a, as a hypothetical piece talks about the, the fact that lighting can mimic or uh, play a very tricky role in terms of how you understand materialities, mm -hmm. especially when lighting is not, not just a, a, a source to shine on the material, but the lighting can change its very own sense of materialities. Mm -hmm. yep. Interesting. So what is the most memorable light up urban landscape that impress you? Well, that's a very interesting question, of course, because uh, growing up in uh, Hong Kong and having spent time in New York, we always think about um, uh, all these um, uh, neon lights, all these really beautiful, colorful lighting um, scenario in Shinjuku, cosmopolitan world. But actually, one time I was really all struck by um, the fact that I went to Chicago mm -hmm. and I went up to John Hancock's Tower. Um, it's, it's strange because when you go all the way up to the John Hancock Towers, for those of you who have been there, you are actually at the tallest point of Chicago, but Chicago, unlike New York or, or, um, or uh, Hong Kong or uh, Tokyo, the density is not as much as, uh, as uh, these other cities. All of a sudden, when I, went, when, when I was up on the top floor in uh, the John Hancock Tower, I saw just white lights that demarcates all the mile grids in the American cities. It's all white, there's no color at all. And that to me is the most powerful thing. The, the, the whiteness of these little dots marks the whole city planning through, the, through that experience. It's, sometimes it's the absence of colors in lighting that makes you really realize the presence of lights. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Maybe I'll book my trip to Chicago next week. <laughs> Thank you for enlightening us, Mr. Lee, and for being an inspiration for creativity and design to all of us. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. Yeah. Once again, thank you all for coming tonight. We are very pleased to have you here. Please continue enjoying our cocktails and canopies. Do walk around as the venue is lit up by other Philips lighting solutions and feel free to see what light can do. If you have any questions regarding Philips lighting solutions, please feel free to ask any representatives here tonight. And do stick around as we have special prizes to be given out throughout the evening. And the top prize will be the OLED, the organic LED. This experience kit is the next generation lighting technology that you won't be able to get from the two guests who are present when we call their names. Please make sure you have dropped your business cards in our raffle box. Thank you and enjoy. Have a good evening.
Mr. Eric de Clerc. <laughs> Hi, we would like to invite you to do our first prize. Here we come. Daniel Peng. Mr. Daniel Peng. Is Mr. Daniel Peng here? Mr. Daniel Peng 1. Mr. Daniel Peng 2. Mr. Daniel Pang 3. Okay, next. <laughs> this is Michelle Yam. Miss Michelle Yam. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is a Philips LED table lamp. Congratulations and thank you, Eric. And for our second prize, we would like to call on Mr. Anderson Lee. May we have Mr. Anderson Lee for our second prize, please? 
height. <laughs> Eric Chung from CLA. Mr. Eric Chung, congratulations. That's our docking. Oh, maybe picture together. And maybe they can deliver for you because it's too heavy. Oh, sure, so maybe sure, you can sure. organize with sure. the staff later. Yeah. So, so I'll yeah. Out. yeah. And for our final prize, may we please call on Miss Jo Shum. <laughs> Miss Jo Shum. Hi. And for our final prize, it's the OLED Experience Kit. And the winner goes to... Isometrix. Um, I don't know. Is there a name on it? Name of the company, I think. Mr. Mr. Excuse my pronunciation. Mr. Poseyanonda. Oh, sorry, it's Miss Poseyanonda. <laughs> Excuse my pronunciation. Congratulations. This is our final prize. The organic LED. Thank you, congratulations, and thank you, Ms. Shum. Congratulations to all our winners, and enjoy the rest of the view evening. Thank you.